This is Shimano Extreme Fishing. My problem with this game is that the methods of fishing used in extreme fishing are not all that extreme. You can fish with a rod, a bow, or spear. Those are all traditional ways of fishing. Extreme fishing would be fishing with flamethrowers, miniguns, and explosives. Just think of it like this, if you're fishing for food, you're hungry, you want a fast meal, you torch the water with a flamethrower, kill the fish, boil them, cook them at the same time, have lunch right there on the boat. Naturally, the first thing I tried to do in the game was crash the boats into other boats. That didn't work. So I concentrated on fishing. Many people expect me to give a very black or white answer when reviewing a game, like it's a great game or this game sucks. And I usually don't do that just because I like to be extremely annoying. And there's many different types of people out there with many different interests. If your interests are fishing and the outdoors, then Shimano Extreme Fishing may be for you. Maybe it's the off season. Maybe it's 512 degrees below zero and you can't get outside. In which case, you can relive the joy of fishing in your own home with the Nintendo Wii. Technically, the game is not too much to speak of. It's nowhere near the production value that you'd be used to if you play a lot of A-list video games. I would think that Shimano Extreme Fishing has a smaller budget than Dead Space. How do you attract fish anyway? Don't you have to put something into the sand that thumps rhythmically? It's a sea monster! Get it! No, no, it's it's just a common carp. Pull him up. I thought it was something bigger with tentacles. Sorry. Sorry, I got excited. See, that would be extreme. When you go out fishing for salmon and end up with the Loch Ness monster. Nice job! He's almost there! Pull him in. This one is a <laughs> Dumbass fish messing with humans. The thing is, this is actually fun. They, they use the Wii controllers fairly well for the game. I mean, it's not my style. I would prefer to shoot the fish at a distance with a sniper rifle, but the, you, you, uh, you end up catching it with your rod in this scenario, and you're trying to reel the fish in at just the right speed, or with just the right amount of force. Now, there's probably fishing terms I don't know, but anyway, you don't want to break your line and you don't want the fish to get away. And depending on what fish you catch, there's like 50 different kinds of fish in the game, they may put up a ridiculous fight, and that is the fun part of the game. Afterwards, you can go to Long John Silver's and pretend to eat them. There's different spin casts, and th these are like the different skateboards in the Tony Hawk games. Target. Pull him in. And this is not Thunderball, this is spearfishing, underwater spearfishing. And you may have noticed this in the rod fishing part as well, but you earn point multipliers, depending on how many successful things you complete in a row. So it's not just like you go out there and push a button and go fishing, you go out there and push buttons and go fishing for points. The end boss at the uh, very end of the game is the giant fire-breathing wolf eel. You have to memorize his attack patterns and then get him with the propeller on the end of your boat. You can go free fishing in this game or you can compete in tournaments. And by the way, watch out when you are spearfishing because there's sharks. I can already think of the sequel, Extreme Dolphin Fishing. So long and thanks for the bloody massacre. Keep shooting. Here's bow fishing. This reminds me of Turok. Got him. I kept trying to switch to my automatic rifle, but it wasn't there. I must not have found it yet. 
I'm having fun with this one, but it's a narrow market. It's a fishing game for people really interested in fishing and sportsmanship. Well, there's not a whole lot of sportsmanship in blasting fish with a bow and arrow, in my opinion, but... While Shimano Extreme Fishing is playable, it's not terribly exciting visually. It's probably not going to appeal to you if you want a really big budget mass market game. This is a niche market game aimed at fishing enthusiasts. If you're interested in games like Halo, then this is probably not the game for you. Master Chief versus Salmon. That would be a game for you and me. That sounds promising. You know that the Needler would be excellent for fishing, with a little bit of auto-targeting just to help out? Oh yeah, that sportsmanship. 